How many moles of O2 molecules are in a sample containing 3.0 times 10 to the 22nd O2 molecules? A, 2.0 moles. B, 1.06 times 10 to the negative 21 moles. Or C, 0 0.50 moles. One mole is defined as a group count equivalent to Avogadro's number, which to six significant digits is 6.02213 times 10 to the 23rd. Note that the official abbreviation for mole is M-O-L, no E. It should be obvious that a mole count and individual counts are directly proportional quantities. If you have zero molecules, you also have zero moles of molecules. If you have twice as many molecules, then the moles of molecules also doubles. When two quantities are directly proportional, the ratio is constant. In other words, we can say that the ratio of the mole count to the individual count is equal to the ratio of one mole to Avogadro's number. We can rearrange this equation to solve for the mole count. Essentially, what we end up doing is multiply the given individual count 3.0 times 10 to the 22nd by the ratio of one mole to Avogadro's number. The ratio serves as a conversion factor. Note that we round our value for Avogadro's number to three significant digits. There's no need to use more because our least precise term has only two significant digits. The answer we get should be rounded off to two significant digits and it's equal to 0 0.50 moles. So the correct answer is C. To summarize, if we want to convert an individual count to a mole count, we simply divide the individual count by Avogadro's number. If capital N is the individual count, we divide it by Avogadro's number to get the mole count. The same basic idea is involved when we convert any individual count to a group count. For example, if you have 36 eggs, you divide it by 12 to get the dozen count. 36 divided by 12 is 3. 36 eggs is equivalent to 3 dozen eggs.